NRA Unleashed Overtime starts right now. Sure does. Thanks for being with us. We're complaining about the uh, Rock Hall of Fame inductees. Jeez, man, what a weird class this latest one is. Just bizarre. I mean, Cheryl Crow, I think, absolutely belongs in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Plus, she made it, you know, in one of her first years. She uh, she debuted, I think, in 94. So, 94. Uh, so, it would have been 2019 would have been in the first year. Okay. And uh, almost, you know, it's not bad. 2023. Right. Yep. And, w- and we were getting like a documentary on Cheryl Crow <laughs> right there, which is great. Uh, is that what they played when she was inducted? Yeah. A change will do you good. A change. A change. I mean, she had really lots of big stuff. hits. So I mean, many. Soak up Every the day sun. is a winding road. Right, every soak day is up the sun. If it makes you happy. Lighten your eyes. All I want to do. Mm-hmm. Real Gone from the Cars soundtrack. Oh, man. Oh, First Cut is the deepest. Yeah. yeah. I mean, the she Old Rod Stewart classic. A lot of stuff Good going stuff. On here. I mean, really, really good. Uh, Kate Bush. Man, yeah, turned into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame before Foreigner. Mm. Yeah, it's crazy. How do you feel about that? Uh, not good. Not good, Keith. Uh, Missy Elliott. How do you feel about that? Uh, really bad. Really bad. Uh, George Michael. Stop it. Really? Oh, wait. Were you about to play Missy Elliott? All right. Yeah, let's dwell on this for a minute. Because, uh, <laughs> uh, uh, how many big, big hits did Missy have? Uh, has she had in her career? This one, that's it. This, this is it? That's all I know her <laughs> and from. And what is that one? What is it called? Uh. Get uh, your freak on. Get your freak on. Okay. Yeah. That's. So oh, I like I like the alternate title better. Which is. Uh. 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 <laughs> that was good. <laughs> George Michael, who had a lot of hits, you know, and he's he's pop music. I can. Oh. Careless whisper. So good. That takes me back. Oh man. Mm. That's a good song though. Yeah. Back in the day when he sang about girls, <laughs> and tricked us all. Are we sure? <laughs> I mean, yeah, he admits that he ambiguous? sang about girls. Oh, at he first. did say that. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. That's why he was so uncomfortable because he was singing out, singing about girls when it wasn't it wasn't true to who he was. Uh, then we got your uh, Willie Nelson. Uh, I don't know what fabulous Willie Nelson song you could possibly. Oh sure. Mmm. So good. On the road again. On the road again. You know what? You know what? Ick. Oh my gosh, I hated this when I was in music radio. Really? This is what destroyed Top 40 radio, this really? kind of garbage. Yeah, when, when Top 40 stations started playing things like On the Road Again, it ruined the format. Ruined it completely. Well, I, I'm, I'm uh, asking Chris to uh, <laughs> call up a song. Um, it's a duet between Willie Nelson and Beck driving nails in my coffin. Willie Nelson and see, Beck let's see did a if, song together? Let's see if you like this. You, All right. You know, uh, Carrie played this for me uh, the other day, and uh, she had me guess who Willie Nelson was singing with. And did she, you? Because she knows I love Beck. Yeah. Not even close. Oh, really? Not even close. Staggering Wait, what is it? Album. I think you got two things playing at once there, right? What, what's... Is gone and I'm so lonely. That's Beck. She said that she and I were through. Wow. So I started out drinking for past time. Uh-huh. Dropping nails in my coffin over you. Put nails in my coffin over you. Wait, leave it up. The nails in my coffin. See, that's pretty good, right? Every time no. I drink a bottle of booze. Ick. <laughs> no. I'm not a country fan, though. I'm not either. You know, for country fans, I'm sure that's great. I'm not either. It's I'm just, just a fun not. tune. Yeah. Uh, Rage Against the Machine. <clears throat> not a favorite of mine. <laughs> that's Psychos, uh, they are definitely who are wrong about everything. <laughs> have I, I know I've told it on the air before how we went to the U2 concert, mm. Mile High Stadium, May 1st, 1997, mm-hmm. and uh, it was cold. It was outdoors. Yeah. And Rage opened up for U2. Oof. And uh, Carrie and I were just sitting there, you know, just cold, waiting. 
and everybody all around us, because we were up near the front, was just all, you know, jumping around. Probably smart, staying warm mm-hmm. while Rage. Mm-hmm. And this the that lead singer, that freak, wears the Raiders jersey. Yeah. Whatever. Anyway, he's standing up there, like, for this entire song, he's just staring at me. It was so awkward. <laughs> and I was just staring back, because he was pissed, I guess, that I wasn't that jumping around jumping. like everybody else. Yeah. How dare you? Whatever. How dare you be not, an individual and I'm not, not follow the I'm crowd? I'm not here for you, bro. Right. All right. right. I'll get up later. <clears throat> and that must have been most of the crowd, seriously. Rage Against the Machine doesn't seem to fit you two. I don't know. That doesn't work for me. Yeah, I, I, I'm looking forward to watching this video. Um, somebody sent me a video saying that I shouldn't go to the uh, the Sphere in Las Vegas. Why? In December to see you two. Because I guess there's going to be, and i got to watch this video here, and maybe we'll play it tomorrow. Apparently there's subliminal messages that flash up, and so I'm going to walk oh, wow. out of there. And, really? And, uh, an MK Ultra killer for hire. Oh, uh, well. Apparently. So yeah. I'm looking forward to seeing this video. Okay. Mm-hmm. Oh no! What's going on, bro? You getting yeah, enough sleep this week? Just getting tired. Yeah. Shoot. Mm-hmm. Sick. I'm tired. Wait, are you sick? I don't feel very good. Oh no. Yeah. Um. The the spinners. That makes me feel good because the spinners, an R and B group, uh, made it to the Rock and Roll oh, Hall of Fame. I mean, this is a good song. It's just not rock. Do they belong in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame? The yeah. answer. Is no. Bless their hearts. Good band. Uh, and if the, if you like Motown, you probably love the Spinners. Is there a Motown Hall of Fame? I think so. I bet there is. I think so. R and B or Motown. I don't know what they call it, but there's got to be one, right? Uh, Who is DJ Cool Herc? He's now in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. <laughs> DJ Cool Herc. I have no made idea. it before Foreigner. <laughs> I don't know. I. Help me out on that. Link Ray. Okay, Link Ray is a pioneer in guitaring. Huh. And there's a lot of guitarists, including Jimmy Page, who uh, are their heroes. He he is their hero. And so maybe he belongs. You know, he's kind of one of those groundbreakers. Shaka Khan. Again, not rock and roll. <laughs> Al Cooper who was in a massive influence, it says, on American music, composer, multi-instrumentalist, singer, arranger, and producer. He's collaborated with the biggest names in rock and roll. Al Cooper, okay? Not Alice Cooper, the actual <laughs> singer. It's Al Cooper, the producer. Bernie Toppin, absolutely. I'll grant you Bernie Toppin belongs in the Rock Hall of Fame. Absolutely. Uh, one of the greatest songwriters of all time. Uh, then you got your Don Cornelius from Soul Train. <laughs> Again, not rock and roll, but okay. Just, it's agonizing. It's agonizing. Don Cornelius! Soul <laughs> Train! Lord, I can guarantee you'll enjoy the ride, especially if you like your soul ice cold, because none other than the ice man himself is going to be looking you right dead in your eyes. What, who's the ice man himself? I want to hear that. Oh, too cool. late now, huh? Mm. <laughs> like the American bandstand of soul music, right? Mm-hmm. Soul Train. So, yeah, I mean, that goes back a ways. It's worthy of recognition. Is it Rock and Roll Hall of Fame worthy, though? <laughs> Again, the answer's got to be no. Ah, whatever. <clears throat> Not going to change him, I guess. But we tried. I mean, we when we talked to the guy, it's like, okay, why do you put all these other genres in? Why? Yeah, I would say that if the next round of nominees does not include Foreigner or and Tommy James or and the Shondells, then uh-huh. we have failed in our mission. We, we failed miserably. So we'll see. Yeah, we'll see. I think it's the beginning of the year, though. It feels like Is it's it? early next year that we... He said May. Really? May? Yeah. Not the, till May we get the nominees? It doesn't seem right. Huh, it That's doesn't what seem I right. when I was reading it. Seems like it was all decided by May this year, doesn't it? Because we've known about this group for a long time. Yeah, I'll, I'll, hmm. I'll look that up. All right. Uh, so George Michael, I guess, won the fan vote and got in 
which is unusual because that doesn't usually happen. That counts as one vote out of 140 or whatever it is they do. The guy told us. I forget what the number was. But the fan vote counts as one vote. <laughs> Not a million votes. You know, it, it doesn't matter how many people actually vote for that band or that artist. Uh, they've got an equal chance of getting in with everybody else. doesn't matter. So, essentially, they don't care what you think. <laughs> Isn't that nice? This is with the new guy, I think. Yeah, what's his name? Kelly something. That's not Lou Graham. So, uh, Still, he's pretty good, though. He's I pretty good. found a story dated October 15th, 2019, mm-hmm. listing the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame nominees for 2020. See? So, mm-hmm. no way. Are they, are they already mm-hmm. out, the 2024 nominees? 24. I'm, I, this audience is so great at keeping me updated. It's, if, as soon as this happens and they send them out, mm-hmm. um, they will make sure that I'm tagged on Twitter so that I can oh, that'll be make good. make your life a living hell by saying, yep, right. another yep. year has come and gone. No forwarder and, and no Tommy James and the Shondells. <laughs> uh, oh, here's a, okay, here's a... St- Three hours ago from Axios, predicting the 2024 Rock and Roll Hall, Hall of Fame nominees. Oh. This is just a prediction. Oh, okay, just a prediction. So this broke three hours ago. Um, let's see here. Let's see. Joy Division, New Order. Let's see. No, let's see. No. Soundgarden, White Stripes, Iron Maiden, Cindy Lauper. Yuck. Uh, John Mayer, Lil Wayne. Wayne. Stop it! Big boy of Outcast. Oh, uh, gosh. Peter Frampton and Dave Matthews. Oh, Frampton, for sure. Uh, Frampton belongs. Oh, I'm sorry. This, this says, this says uh, Big boy of Outcast, Peter Frampton, and Dave Matthews were all on hand to honor other artists. Okay. Oh. So scratch that. But the okay. other ones were, were they think might be on the ballot. I wonder if Frampton's already in. He might be He's already gotta in. He's got to be, right? Yeah, he has to gotta be. be. So, yeah. oh, oh, okay. Here we go. Should have scrolled down. The bottom line. Here's my way too early <clears throat> prediction for the 2024 okay. ballot, according to this writer. All C- right. Cindy Lauper, Dave Matthews Band, Dion yeah. Warwick, Iron Maiden, John Dionne Mayer, Warwick. Joy Division slash New Order, Mariah Carey, Mary J. Blige, MC5, Mariah Outcast, Carey. Peter Frampton apparently is not in. Apparently not. Soundgarden, The Smashing Pumpkins. Soundgarden's good. Um, the Smashing White Pumpkins. Stripes. Mm. That's it. White Stripes. They okay. didn't put it, Foreigner but, on here. No, once again. But, but once this again. isn't the guy that we talked to. So No. Okay. Hold now hope. Yes. Incredible. Mm. Oh. Ah, little Peter Frampton right here. Good morning, everybody. Before I forget, Frampton comes alive. <laughs> uh, Thomas Massey. Yeah. Man of the people mm-hmm. in Congress. Um, just so you know, because this is really important to me. Mm. Uh, this week, the House will vote on my amendment. This is him talking, not the Keith Malinak amendment, but the Thomas Massey amendment to defund... The federal mandate, because I'd forgotten about this, the federal mandate that requires all new vehicles be equipped with a kill switch to monitor driver performance and prevent vehicle operation. Remember that? We, yeah. we were outraged when it passed. Uh-huh. I can't remember the day that that was supposed to go into operation, but he's trying to get that get the kill switch killed. Um, Good. Switch become Good. standard. Let's see. Required vehicles. Let's see. What the year on that is, uh, but but twenty twenty six. That's uh, when it was supposed to take effect. Wait, well, let's see. Please uh, hold on. Uh, there's too many weird results here. Yeah, um, I'm getting a lot of uh, results back that just make it seem like twenty twenty six is when it is required. So he's trying to stop that. It sounds like. I hope so. Hope he's successful. Has in that. to. That's crazy. I mean, that is. That's nuts. Because that will be abused. It will. Um, well, what do I care? I'm not doing anything wrong. They'll never care, kill my car. Well, yeah. You, you don't know that. You just don't know that. Uh, all right. Let's get... Speaking of vehicles, uh, here's one crashing into a fireworks stand, right? And uh, and I think it <laughs> what, what, sets what did off it some crash fireworks. Into? What did this big rig crash into, Chris? Another big rig, or do we know? I don't know. Yeah. Okay. Somewhere. All right. yeah. Let's watch, and we'll see. Uh, fireworks display, <laughs> courtesy of a crash. Oh my gosh. Holy crap! $10,000 worth, literally up in smoke. Uh, but I mean, there's your impromptu, fun, uh, impromptu show. Yeah, that's great if like you're there, if you happen to be there. 
and you're not, you know, getting killed by it. Um, that's like a grand finale that went Jeez, on for yeah, that's awesome. minutes. How, how, I don't know how long it went on. But. That, it's a good display. Yeah, it is. They did a good job. They did a good <laughs> they job. Did. I'm sorry that no one was camped out waiting for it, but that was a good job up in Canada. But that's a good impromptu fireworks yeah. display. I like it. Yeah. I've kind of, you know, my theory on the 4th of July is I've seen the fireworks displays in virtually every city in this country. <laughs> Uh, and I, so I've been there. I've done that. I don't need to see any more. But this actually, it's kind of impressive. That's a pretty good one right there. Have you seen the drone shows they do now on 4th of July? The they drone the shows? Yeah. Oh. Those are better. I, better? I've, really better They're than cool. fireworks? They're not better. Mm -hmm. Two different things. Mm -hmm. I, I have flown into um, a major city's airport after dark on the 4th of July, and that's always fun. Yeah, uh, yeah, where you see them January happening 1st. all over the place. Yeah, yeah. so yeah, because it, I mean, it's just like and it's such a different perspective too. Yeah, because you're up above it and right. everything looks so small. You mm -hmm. know, it's mm -hmm. it. I, I would highly recommend you schedule a flight into a major city <laughs> after dark on Fourth of July. It is. How long did this go on? Jeez. Several minutes. I'm told. And this was just from something running into yeah. all of these fireworks. Which makes you wonder, off. how does that happen? Yeah. Like, I don't, well, like, were they amazing. all connected it's, to... So one spark turns it on. You can't really turn I it guess, off yeah. after one starts. They're all going to go. Wow. That is really amazing. <laughs> that is a great <laughs> display. I, know. I don't believe <laughs> somebody just ran into this and it happened. I don't believe it. Pat doesn't believe it. No, I don't Chris, believe it. CGI? CGI. CGI. Yeah. Either CGI or somebody just set off all so, these fireworks. Okay, I'm, it's starting to slow down a bit. I'm glad someone was there with a camera at least. But that is awesome. That is a good fireworks display. Yeah. Huh. All right. Uh, then we've got this uh, fun with crazy face paint. Okay, this is the video that I, I like the payoff at the end. But I, there's no way Pat's going to sit through this entire clip. He's just going to say... So, Joe, get ready for Pat to say, <laughs> just last show me the seconds. last 10 seconds. All right. Let's see his crazy face I'm paint. so thirsty. <laughs> this guy. I don't know. Okay. Oh. Hmm? So, there's his face. I okay. It. I hate it. I forgot. So, he, that's I, what we're working with yeah, here. Yeah, I forgot he gave it away at the beginning there. But <laughs> it's kind of fun here, the whole process. <laughs> see how he made his nose and mouth? Uh-huh. <laughs> I like this inner and uh, and see what that okay. Uh huh. Yeah. All right. Let's uh, cut to the chase. Cut to the at chase. the very end. Okay. Uh, like the last. Oh, yeah. oh, this is good. Oh, I like this speed here. Uh, yeah. Okay. There's his buddy. All right. Now, see, they're getting a little kerchief. <laughs> <laughs> I can't breathe. I'm getting dizzy. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> that's good stuff, right? Yeah. That's great. Oh, oh you like it? That's great. See? Oh, they got the beret. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> <laughs> they seem to like it. That's they, fun. They, they were definitely amused by... Uh, yeah, themselves. By themselves. So that's... What's the other one here? Good. What's this one here? Uh, oh, this is an old video from 2013 that's just been making the rounds. Um, there's a wildfire in Colorado, and a farmer is trying to create a fire break. That's just dramatic video right there. Look at that, man. I mean, that... Can you imagine? I mean, that's his livelihood up in smoke. Oof. Did it work? I don't know. I couldn't. Hope so. I Jeez. looked and tried to find an answer to this. Look at he's desperately trying to oh. put a stop to that. <sighs> you know what that scene needs, Pat? Needs about ten thousand dollars worth of fireworks. Yeah, that's what it needs. Exactly what it and, needs. And the sunset. Oh, yeah. There you go. There you go. <laughs> this is what it needs. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, there you go. There you That's, go. This is our celebration for the inductees into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, including Ooh. Willie Nelson and <laughs> Missy Elliott. <laughs> and we'll see you again tomorrow. On the road again. Just can't wait to get on the road again. Life I love is making music with my friends.